Hi, today we'll try to check uh, sh short or we, we try to teach you how to check uh, short in the motherboard of laptop uh, and uh, we'll show you each circuit uh, the approximately of uh, resistance you can measure in the uh, showing the multimeter now for example this is the processor here processor as you know it supply volt uh, about uh, 1.2 volt so uh, each coil beside uh, as we said before this coil here or indicator uh, this is uh, represent uh, voltage supply for the uh, processor so we measure the resistance between the uh, coil and on the ground as you see here it's read 38 this 38 doesn't mean that there is short here if we show the other side of the of the processor here there is here capacitor as you see paper capacitor if you check here also it's read 38 ohm this is 38 ohm doesn't mean that's uh, the processor is short when processor is short it will read about zero something like this here this capacitor also supply the processor is 338 so the processor area if you check of any kind of laptop the old one the new one it's uh, the the resistance will measure is uh, it will measure a low value like uh, you see here see h capacitor 23 or 38 this is not short this is not short as you see between the ground this is not short 26 why because processor contain um, billion of transistor and uh, connect uh, each other uh, parallel so it it's will read uh, low resist now now we go to check this is VGA VGA chip this coil here indicator is supply for VGA also VGA will uh, voltage supply of VGA about 1.2 volt so if we read if we check the system between see it's read about <coughs> about 16 or 17 ohm capacitor here beside VGA 3 16 ohm here also this is not short this is not short 15 ohm or 16 ohm because the VGA chip uh, the supply voltage of VGA chip is 1.2 or, or 1.5 something like this so if you measure any chip and you see the resistance between ground and the VCC coil low that means uh, the chip is uh, good it's not short approximately now we check other <coughs> circuit for example here this is BIOS chip. BIOS chip supply is 3.3 on pin number 1. Now, if I check 
the resistance between chip number uh, pin number one and resistance on the ground it will read about 300 320 ohm why because the voltage supply is high 3.3 is high volt so you can use this uh, method to determine uh, the short of each circuit you must now here this is ro chip uh, input output chip if we check the capacitor here it's about 2.6 260 this chip supply is 3.3 volt so it will read high uh, resistant or, or high value now here if you see here here uh, this is here a, a pin ba battery pin here MOSFET control the charging battery so if you see here there is capacitor capacitor will read 285 this each pin supply about 3.3 .3 volt and uh, for all the battery will charge uh, will uh, supply about 12 volt so it will read high value if you see here maybe sorry Three hundred something. Three hundred. As you, as I said, this pin, this battery pin, supply from three three point three volt to twelve volt. So it will read high resistance. <coughs> now we check another thing. For example, this is RAM. circuit here ram slot this coil here will supply ram if we check from this side <coughs> as you see it's really about 92 92 ohm this ram uh, supply about 3 volt here this coil uh, this coil uh, belong to VGA now we check another thing here this is capacitor if you see or you, you cannot see this capacitor the value of this capacitor is 2.5 volt so when I measure this capacitor or, or I try to test this capacitor using using a multimeter this will read 94 When the voltage is low, the resistance or the reading will be low. When the voltage mentioned here high, the smart read high. Now, for example, this another capacitor here. This capacitor, let me check. This capacitor here reads 6.3 volt. So, when I try to check if there is short here or not. You see, it's read about 500 ohm. 
Why? Because the value here is 6.3 uh, volt. Uh, that's mean this circuit about uh, the volt of this circuit about 5 volt. So 5 volt is must read high resistance. So if you check here, now it's, it's uh, this MOSFET charge or this charge, but uh, as you see, the value is high, 260 or you reflect the pin also here this share also 6.6.6.3 volt so as i said if you any circuit over this now this is south bridge if you check here this capacitor or this coil, this capacitor, capacitor also. This have about 100 ohm, 110 ohm. This chip also supply about uh, 2 from 2 to 3 volt. It depends on the laptop uh, version of the laptop generation. As you see, street 100. So this is, this is, uh, that doesn't, does this, uh, this mean this chip is not short. Now what uh, we check, for example, <coughs> here this is USB, and this capacitor connect with USB. As you know, USB supply five volt. Now, if we check here, it will read high resistance, three hundred thirty nine. Ohm. So as you, as I said, when the when the voltage supply of the circuit is high, the value of reading will be high, and when the voltage is low, the value of reading will be low. This help you to find the short of any motherboard. I hope this will help you when you try to fix any laptop sometimes or most I found uh, when I work in uh, repairing uh, many many laptop come in uh, some of this capacitor here here it will be short but uh, physically you cannot uh, see it's short but uh, when you check using multimeter and you will find the short depend, depend, depending or uh, uh, you must uh, or you must know each uh, circuit the voltage supply. Now this is IT or input output IC super IO the voltage supply is 3 volt 3.3. Processor about 1.2. Uh, uh, RAM, there is, as you know, there is DDR1, DDR2, DDR3. Uh, each uh, gen generation uh, have uh, different volt. For example, this one 2.2 uh, volt. South bridge or North, North bridge will supply about 3 volt. VGA chip about 1.2 volt so it will read low resistance processor about 1.2 and also 3.3 .3 volt but it will read low low value low resistance i hope this will help you if you like video please share and subscribe
and uh, I'm sorry, maybe my language is not so perfect, but I will try to do my best. Thank you for watching.